Hi YouTube, Mark from Advanced Electronic. Uh, I built a circuit that um, is using a square core with two identical, identically wound inductors. They're actually inverted from each other, so they're wound towards each other. Um, what I did was I found that if I bring this to the resonant frequency and I put a magnet on the back side of the core between where the fields come together, um, the magnet obviously has to be opposing the field of the coils. But anyway, it oscillates uh, at the resonant frequency. I have a capacitor. What happened was I started the circuit with a pulse from the battery. I took a 12 volt battery, I pulsed it, turned the circuit on, and resumed without the battery. I put a capacitor bank in there, and just about two minutes ago, I started this with zero volts. And slowly but surely, it's rising. The only thing that I'm doing here is I'm inserting a pulse um, at the base of the transistor, and the rest of it is energizing one coil, uh, de-energizing, letting that energy find its way back into this coil, energizing that, releasing its back EMF back and forth, back and forth. Um, since the oscillations are continuing, the voltage continues to rise. And uh, it's a slow process, but it is happening. Um, no battery connected whatsoever. The battery is disconnected. And uh, what my next step is going to be, uh, the function generator actually was uh, supposed to be wired into the circuit. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't have too tall of spikes uh, of back EMF that would destroy it. So what I have right now is, uh, let me get over to the frequency of the, of the circuit. We're at 4,000 hertz right now. I have the scope hooked up and I'm going to slowly adjust. Um, I'll go by the voltage at the bottom here. If it focuses in, I don't think the this is going too easily, so uh, let me zoom out. Maybe I can get it where it's clearer. But we're at, uh, it's actually at 8.78 volts right now. And um, just trying to adjust so I can get this at the best voltage. I think I had it at the best uh, frequency right there. Yeah, so we're at... Um, a thousand hertz seems to be correct and unfortunately it's clipping the signal off so what I'm gonna do is I wanna get it where I'm getting an overshot it says positive and negative overshot at the bottom here so if I bring it all the way up I don't get an overshot if I take it out of resonance um, I can get that overshot of energy to come out and I've had it where it was 100% to 150 depending on the frequency. Now I just saw 33%. But, um, oh, I just passed it. If we get it in the right spot, we can get a high percentage. And when I get the high percentage, okay, let's see, we're at 50,000. And if I adjust the output of the signal, I can generally get that to happen. Uh, it brings me all the way down now to, we're at 1.49% and the battery, or I'm sorry, the battery, the capacitor has risen now to 2.6 volts. And this is strictly, like I said, there's no, no batteries. I can take the batteries right out of here they make no difference whatsoever and the capacitor bank right now is actually what's be, what's connected to with the meter um, here's the positive lead from that that's going on to there I have a bunch of capacitors in series and that adds up to be oh let's see 2.7 that's times 8 so it's not quite built for maybe 23 volts but um, I just wanted to have enough voltage capacity in here uh, in the event I leave it running long enough so it doesn't blow my caps up but they're cheap enough caps anyway they are super capacitors 
and the voltage should be going down instead of up so um, like I said I haven't done anything to to change that but because we have a positive overshot on this it's going to continuously keep to rise and rise and rise I started off and you know the voltage was uh, at oh somewhere around 0.1 volts after my first pulse to the system and it just continuously keeps the charge our, our, um, our minimum channel voltage here, or we have a peak-to-peak -peak of 42.7 volts, and uh, it says my baseline is 52.7 volts, so that's the uh, minimum, and then it says maximum is 10 volts, that's my RMS voltage, uh, cycle mean is about negative 45 volts, and I, I seem to see a lot of the negative mean voltage when we have cold electricity, in all of my other experiments so um, I will eventually put a, a circuit schematic together it was quite difficult to um, uh, I, I moved the the wiring around until I got what I needed but it wasn't charging it was last night it was uh, it was discharging I had uh, the capacitor bank charged at 12.8 volts and it discharged slowly uh, this morning it wasn't dead it was like at 10 volts and then I change some wiring around see now it's hopping up it's uh, going to 2.7 now so it is still rising and eventually we'll stay at 2.7 and then go higher so I'm gonna let this run and then I'll uh, we'll re video and uh, uh, follow up with this in part two thanks for watching